family, friends, staff, and fellow classmates. And welcome to the 2013 Senior Graduation. It is my honor to be your 2013 Valedictorian. How can there be two valedictorians? Well, it turns out the class of 2013 is too good to have just one. <laughs> good friends ever since freshman year. And it is our combined honor to represent you, the senior class of 2012, or 13. <laughs> Tonight is the night we thought would never come. Tonight is the night we look forward to ever since we first entered this school. Tonight is the night we have, that we have prepared for over the last four years. Tonight is the night that signals the end of childhood and the beginning of adulthood. Tonight is the night of our graduation, the night when we change from one stage of our lives to the next. Congratulations. Tonight, I'm going to tell you a story about beginning, or to be specific, my beginning at the Atlanta County Institute of Technology. Something a lot of my classmates did not know about me was when I first came here, I didn't know what to expect. I was lucky enough, or unlucky enough rather, to have only attended one school from grades kindergarten through eighth. Going to high school was going to be the first time I had ever been to a new school, and the idea of that great change was scary to me. But all that changed when I entered my first class. I found out that all my fellow classmates were just like me. This was their first time going to high school as well. <laughs> I realized that the four year journey that lay before me was not one that I would have to take alone, but one I would take together with the help of my friends, classmates, and teachers. ACIT was a major leap, a major change for me as well as everyone else here today. We all made the choice to forgo the traditional path, and I was no different. When first entering ACIT as a naive young freshman, I knew nobody. I changed direction from all my friends and began to focus on my own future. And this change of course in attending ACIT has opened my eyes to the bigger picture and helped me to discover where I wanted to be. Many of you know me as the culinary student that should have been out in IT or engineering. For, nearly every, for, for years, nearly everyone in IT thought I was in engineering, and nearly everyone in engineering thought I was in IT. ACIT has helped me to discover who and where I want, wanted to be, and I am confident that it has helped everyone else here today. A lot has changed since we first started at ACIT. We've undergone a lot of construction, if you will. Much of our change has been academic. High school at ACIT has provided all of us with the necessary skills to become successful later on in life, whether it be in college or out in the workplace. But not all the construction was building upon books learned. Much of the change that has occurred in this class has been in the realm of building relationships and people skills. On almost every road that you choose to follow in life, there will be people on that road that you must interact with, consult with, and deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Over the past four years, our class has become very close. We have worked as a team to overcome every obstacle life has thrown at us thus far. We have formed friendships and camaraderie that will stick with us for the rest of our lives and have prepared us for the future. No matter what the future holds, I believe that this group of ACIT students will be able to work in any environment with any group of people and become successful because that is what ACIT prepares you to do. ACIT has not only prepared us for college, but for the real world. 
We have spent the past four years training and learning about our respective fields. However, in this time, we have also been learning about ourselves. We have learned about our interests and gained a firmer understanding of where we want to be in the world. ACIT has opened our eyes to the many possibilities through our academic classes and through various clubs, activities, and sports. Change is an idea that often can be frightening. The uncertainty of what lies behind the next door can cause someone to never even reach for the handle. But with that uncertainty also comes limitless possibility. In this grand day and age of computers, iPads, Facebooks, there comes a potential that has never been seen in any other day and age in history. A potential to develop exciting new technologies such as quantum computing, stem cell research, and advanced AI robotics. The society that we live in today is building and creating ideas that were not even thought about 20 years ago, or even dreamt about five years ago. That also applies to this senior class today. As a class, we are solving problems, building solutions, and creating ideas that we never thought possible four years ago. A lot has changed since freshman year. Much like our present day society, we have acquired experience and knowledge that we had not known before. We have obtained new tools and methods that we can use to accomplish our goals. We have built relationships and developed plans that will last with us for the rest of our lives. These are all the changes that we have undergone during our stay at ACIT. Graduation is the night you reach for the handle and open the door to a brand new world. Throughout high school, we have had our ups and our downs, our triumphs and our failings, but we have finally made it. We are at the beginning of the rest of our lives. From here, everything changes. There is a world of possibilities out there, and I mean that quite literally, as in this day and age, anything is possible. Though you cannot necessarily control what happens to you, it is what you make of it that counts. Knowing in advance just how hard it is for the advice from a high school graduation speech to truly have an impact, we have chosen to end this speech with the philosophy of quantity over quality. So here it goes. Curiosity will lead you down the path of success. You never stop learning. It is more important to learn from your mistakes than to let them define you. Life's not fair. Get used to it. <laughs> Trust because you are willing to accept risk, not because it is safe or certain. Do what you love and you can't go wrong. Going into the unknown is how you expand what is known. Fight for what matters. Get used to feeling stupid. It's a sign of growth. <laughs> Always remember those who helped you. Deliver two or three times as much value back. But also, help people who have never helped you and can. If the internet is the best thing in your life, you have a serious problem. <laughs> <laughs> Do some free writing. It helps think things through. The best conversations are had side by side, not one in front of the other. Best friends will listen to each other when times are good and pick each other up when times are bad. And don't stop believing. Thank, Thank you. you.